uh, now going to deal with a topic which is, of course, something that we are all facing in our daily practice. And, of course, this is talk we're talking about perimplantitis. And, uh, sorry, that's the right title, actually. And uh, one of the, the, the things that we're going to be discussing today is the different treatment options that uh, we might have. But, of course, um, uh, as with everything, we will take things a little bit from the very beginning to discuss uh, some elements of diagnosis and uh, how uh, we can build up the different uh, knowledge that we have in terms of treatment, which, as you will probably see, is not, uh, we does not provide us with great options. So you, uh, we, we've discussed uh, before very, very nicely and comprehensively from, from the previous speaker that actually periodontology allows you to save teeth and uh, you should not be placing implants when you have a possibility to do the best alternative option, which is, of course, to save the tooth with different periodontal uh, therapies. And the question of save or extract is always, should always be in favor of saving when that's possible uh, through periodontal treatment. Furthermore, when we uh, discuss today about uh, extraction of teeth and placement of the implant, we need to discuss the, uh, the, a, 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 st um, uh, a statement that is called forceps threshold. Now, forceps threshold is uh, the threshold that a dentist has the point that a dentist has before they make a decision that the tooth should not be in position any longer and should be extracted. And of course, this is not a biological complication, but very often the biological complications are a problem because of the easy decision that we make for extractions. Now, we know from the literature that unfortunately, the dentists uh, who are working in an environment